holy crap guys so new stock is up 12 percent as of recording this video the shorts are absolutely obliterated and they are desperate but you know what's even more desperate the competitors why is the head of neo customer service guy Tsinghua streaming live streaming with band-aids on his back well it's because they got backstabbed Envo got backstabbed by the competitors everybody from Zeker to tesla to everybody else they're coming out with lots of malicious statements false statements saying that the Envo is bad all right so i've actually managed to obtain what they're saying what they're telling customers and i'm going to be sharing all that with you guys in this video and of course you know this is pretty shocking of course the, the envo l60 is just too good of a product that competitors are just pissing their pants they got to come out with these false statements in order to keep sales in order to convince customers not to buy an envo l60 and buy their own product namely Zeker. All right. So what you're about to see is, of course, Zeker's, uh, well, speech, I guess, a pre-written sort of response to tell customers. So first of all, they say that Envo, I summarize that, in fact, I don't deny your choice and vision. The Envo's 900 volt is fake. It's low cost, low quality battery, slow charging speed. The purpose is to reduce cost and the wool comes out of the sheep. It is said that the 900 volt can make up for 200 kilometers in 10 minutes. The Zeker 7X is real 800 volt, 5 minutes to charge 241 kilometers. Envo is fully charged, it takes an hour, but we are basically fully charged in 20 minutes. The so-called 900 volt is actually only equipped with the cheapest 2.5C BYD blade battery. It is the same as the 129,000 RMB Dolphin, BYD Dolphin car. The low energy consumption claimed by Envo is at the expense of power and safety. And the single, uh, and this is like a prepared statement to protect themselves. And they said uh, something to be careful of is, of course, you know, uh, you should know that Mercedes Benz E will never compare the energy efficiency with a Toyota Camry. No one does that. Uh, no one compares, compares the fuel efficiency between those two. So it's kind of like, you know, the Zeker 7X has a higher energy consumption, but they, they're trying to paint it as if the Envo 60 is a much lower brand. Oh, very interesting. Next, there's also the reason for the poor performance of the Envo because the chassis and the power are more than 100,000 yuan. The front suspension of Envo 60 is still the McPherson suspension, only costing a few thousand yuan rmb it's same as the volkswagen uh, toroneg which uses you know the same suspension and all sales reps will re explain that the bmw 3 series also uses the mcpherson strut is envelope bmw well they will no never tell you that the bmw 5 series uses the same double fork arm as the zeker 7x yeah so they're attacking on all fronts guys Next one, luxury cars will be equipped with LiDAR as standard, such as the Zeker and Neo will be equipped as standard, but Envo does not. The active security functions that can be achieved with LiDAR are different. Don't believe anyone who fools you. The performance is very different when the weather is bad, such as fog and rain. Envo L60 only has one ORNX chip, and we have two, and the computing power is twice that of them. Next one, the luxury of the interior decoration materials is a world of difference. There's a reason why it is cheap, focusing on a cost-saving one. Envo doesn't have an instrument cluster uh, front dash just to save costs and increase your safety risk. Envo doesn't have sunshades. After summer, the skin is added to two colors, and we are equipped with electric sunshades and rear sunshades as standard. Envo's interior has a strong plastic feeling, while our large area is interior soft wrapped even the door panel and seat are double kilted the configuration function of Envo 60 is also the level of more than a hundred thousand rb vehicle and there's no fragrance bass is <laughs> a financial scam all right this is interesting <laughs> bass is just uh, very stupid now the loan to buy a house is only three percentage points and there are some cars that cost more than hundred thousand yuan for 
pass, but the only one who has to pay for every month is Envo, without batteries. Secondhand cars are not easy to sell. When I sold the car, I had to spend tens of thousands of RMB to buy the battery back, and in the end, I still spent more than 200,000 to buy the car. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. That last one. Envo is the low-end brand of Neo. The user service system can't be enjoyed, and the new house can't be entered. Do you know that Envo customers can't enter the new house, and the power change should be ranked behind new customers so power swap the power station can only use three to four generation swap stations and not one to two generation swap stations under this kind of uh, fencing what what do you think of the interior feeling and this is what neil sales told me if you want to consider envo you'd better go to byd <laughs> and of course zeker are also not at the same level the average price of a zeker car is 307,000 RB. The three electric power of Envo is low and the chassis material is not solid. Trip has low computing power, small battery, twice as large HUD heads up display, and three zone air conditioning. So these are, you know, of course, every company has a dedicated sort of <laughs> pre written speech to combat competitors, all right? When, when a customer is trying to compare your car with someone else's car of course they have a bunch of these pre-written statements to trash talk the other guys one company i've seen them do this very well is of course uh the auto all right <laughs> not something to be proud of all right when you're just good at making malicious statements that's not good all right it shows what kind of company you are but of course uh, you know neo has never really taken that approach of uh you know, we're going to trash talk everybody and, and say bad shit about them. But everybody else has been doing that to Neo and Anvo. And I guess uh, on Weibo, which is like Twitter of China, Dr. Shin Fei, uh, he got really pissed. He's the head of Neo Power. And he said, we should actually attack back, saying like, you know, we should just not only just be docile, we should respond and be aggressive and attack back. But of course... All of this just shows how great of a product this car is. The competitors are absolutely stressed. All right, the Envo L60 has much more orders than the Zeker 7X at launch. All right, about like 30% more than the Zeker 7X. So they are panicking, and customers are indeed comparing the two cars. And I understand that they're doing this, and. You know, it's very blatant, you know, they're not even hiding their name. And even in live streams, they're like telling customers, uh, they're just in the Envo live stream. They're like, oh, I refunded the uh, Envo L60 to buy a Zeker 7X. And their profile name is Zeker Sales Rep. And they haven't even changed it. So they made it super obvious that, hey, you know, they're just a sales rep there to make people be uncertain about this car. But regardless, this car is just way too damn good. You know, this wouldn't be happening if the car was trash. All right, a lot of people are indeed choosing this car. Right, they got over thirty thousand orders in just seventy-two hours. They're probably going to surpass fifty thousand orders very, very soon. In probably like one or two weeks, they've they've been getting so many test drives and stuff. And some customers they need to test drive the car first before they pull the trigger. So I do expect orders to even increase further and hopefully um it was leaked that before september 28th they may possibly share the order numbers officially all right officially and that could be a huge boost to new stock and squeeze the shorts even further as always stay safe stay healthy peace out